My buddy Jeff invited me to go out to drive Claghorn Trail. I've never done it before. I'm really excited about doing it. I um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I'm a decent driver, I'd like to think, right? But who doesn't think they're a decent driver? But, you know, this this is going to be a learning experience. And my buddy Jeff, he's, 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 uh, he's offered to take me. He's got a Jeep that's all modified and is way more capable than my Jimmy here. Uh, I'm, in a, I'm in a 99 GMC Jimmy. It's, it's four-wheel drive, obviously, and it's a, got the five-speed manual, which was really hard to find. Uh, we're going to meet up with Jeff. Uh, uh, he's in his Jeep. He's in a Jeep, um, gosh, what are those, uh, uh, Cherokee. He's in a Jeep Cherokee. <laughs> this is going to be an adventure. So let's, let's you know, let's go. So Claycorn Trail is about 60 miles or an hour and a half east of Los Angeles uh, up Freeway 15. You take the Claycorn exit and there's Freeway 15 and on your right there's the entrance to the trail. It's pretty difficult to miss, <laughs> you know. We're towards the beginning of the Claycorn Trail and, and uh, it smooths out a little bit here. So, you can't really tell anymore. Woo! Um, all the rocks are gone, but what I was going to tell you is, is how rattly this truck is. And, uh, that, but now I'm just going to talk about how much fun uh, this trail is. Because, uh, so far, I'm in two-wheel drive. Uh, I don't really need four-wheel drive for this part, at least. By the way, here's kind of the view. This is the back side, but still very pretty. So I'm not really sure how far in this is, like a mile, maybe two miles. I don't know. Someone who's more experienced might know this spot, but uh, we pulled up. There's a couple of Jeeps in that 4Runner, just kind of chilling there. Nice family. Pretty cool people. Uh, everybody we met was super cool here. Um, just wanted to get a little view of the of like the surroundings and such, and there's 15 north to Vegas, and well, I guess also there's 15 south to not Vegas. One thing I didn't realize is the, the inclines and such here, lots of up and down here, not, not very flat. <laughs> after the break, or after the short pause, we let some air out of the tires. Like idiots, I uh, forgot to bring, um, I forgot to bring one of those tire gauge things. So I just kind of eyeballed it, and the truck rides a lot, a lot smoother now that it's not, you know, on, on street tire pressure, but it's still a little stiff. Uh, we've caught up to those, uh, it's a Jeep, two, two uh, Jeep four doors and a, and a, I don't know, it looks like a 90s forerunner. We just caught up to them, so we're going to pass them in a minute here. Oh, it looks like they're trying something uh, difficult. Oh, no, let's go watch. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, what hell. Let's have a look. So it turns out the uh, maroon Jeep here is, is uh, this is her first time kind of doing a lot of off-roading like this. So she's kind of in the same boat I am. Like, you know, we're not very experienced and her, her husband's in the black Rubicon. And anyway, so I was just like, well, if, uh, if a bone stock uh, Wrangler can do it, then a fairly stock Jimmy can do it too, right? Now I chickened out a little bit and went uh, to the camera's left or my right, and this is a little easier here. And it took a little bit of skill, but you know, we got it. I think you're just gonna I think you're gonna tip a little bit, but as soon as as soon as you hit that rock, it's gonna level you back up. Okay. Well, And of course, Jeff with his super mega awesome Jeep went up the, you know, the difficult side. I just finished my first obstacle, and one of the biggest problems with off-roading is, like, no matter how you set up the camera, no matter how you uh, film it or angle it or lighting or nothing, the camera will never pick up just how intense or how steep the angles are, nothing ever. So no matter what I do, it always looks like, oh, that wasn't so tough. But that, that, it was scary because when, when you look out your window here, 
you're looking out your window and all you're seeing is dirt. You know your vehicle's like at an angle, you know, super mega angle, and you're just like, oh shit, just dirt. Like I can't, like you can't even open the door. Just dirt. That's it. So, ooh. so it's 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 intense. <laughs> um, it's it's intense. I don't know what everyone's complaining about. This one's, uh, this trail's super easy. No problems whatsoever. Look at this, easy peasy. So we've basically reached the halfway mark uh, on the trail. The, uh, the, more, the more middle ones here aren't, aren't too bad as far as difficulty. And, oh, we're coming up on something. Here's Jeff basically showing me how it's done, and I gotta admit, I got a little cocky and decided, you know what, I'm not gonna chicken out this time, I'm gonna go straight through the, uh, the hard part. So, here it is. A little bit faster. I think you get it. Yeah, I think, I, I think you'll be alright. Alright, hold on. So I'm starting to see why Cleghorn is so popular with the local 4x4 groups, because like some of these some of these offshoots are really freaking difficult, and others are just you know not not too bad at all. I mean, there might be kind of some angles and such here and there, but you know, like it, it's it's actually a really good beginner's trail because you can just skip anything you don't want to do or you you don't feel comfortable doing, and then some of the trails they look really intense and they're just not, and you know you can you can just kind of circle around and do them two or three times if you want to keep practicing. And of course, some trails that look easy aren't. Uh, unfortunately, with with how dark, with how with the, with the lighting and such, you can't see out my window very well. But man, the everybody who ever comes here always comments on the view, and of course, I'm going to too because it's just spectacular, just absolutely beautiful out here. And I mean. I could do the entire fire road in two-wheel drive. Uh, you couldn't just do it in like a regular car. But you know, as far as the fire road goes, you can probably do most of it in two-wheel drive. Now here is the most difficult trail we did for the entire day. And Jeff's Jeep, with all that articulation, is making it look like cake work, but the Jimmy, which is not so articulate, uh, doesn't, doesn't do as well. And this is probably the highest I've ever gotten his tire off the ground. And once again, Jeff's Jeep with, you know, it's super wide axles and such. Oh, it can take like a 45 degree angle, no problem. Look at it, just, just doing it. And me, all right, you know, once, <laughs> three, three tires again. And um, I'm like touching the dirt because I'm like, I, I don't know. This is just, this is a new experience for me. And it doesn't look like it, but if you look closely, the, our trucks are probably around 40, 45 degree angle against, you know, the flat ground. So it's, it's this was really tough for me. trails were way beyond the Jimmy's capability and uh, even Jeff's Jeep couldn't do a couple of them. I, uh, I stuck to the fire road and he, he did a couple more trails and um, we made it to the bottom.
Overall, this was a fantastic journey. I had a great time. I learned a lot about how to off-road, and I can't wait to do this again because I had a blast.